Hi hey everyone, this is Ashley C. Team Luna Digitals. I'm going to show you how to use the new Twinkle Light brush in Photoshop. I do already have these as overlays in my shop. Um, I did use my own Twinkle Lights in my studio to create those, and then I used um, those overlays to create these brushes. So they are actual bokeh of um, Twinkle Lights that I would use in the studio for cake smashes. Um, I created... Uh, can get to it here. I created single um, brushes to kind of brush it on little by little. I did do that with predetermined, a predetermined gold or color, and then it also did lines, so you can do it even faster if you uh, prefer that. These do not have predetermined colors, but it's really easy to change it, and I can show you how to do that. Um, I also created an action um, this is simply just creating a new layer and changing the blending mode for you. That's all it's doing. Um, so you can do that by yourself if you want. This is just to make the workflow faster. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play that. And this is going to pop up and tell you that a gold color is already selected, but you can change the color. For strong, stronger twinkle lights, you can duplicate the layer. Um, press, and then it just tells you to press continue if you need assistance. Please watch this tutorial included in Dropbox. It, I wrote on here my color numbers for a gold color option and a white or silver color option, um, but you can obviously play around with it if you think there's a color that could be better. So I'm going to press continue. I'm going to use one of my singles first, and I'm simply going to brush and brush. I did that kind of crooked. If you want it really straight, hold down, hold down your mouse, click shift, and drag it. Uh, it'll do it super. Um, and then you can just do little tiny single ones to kind of fill in that area. Um, and you can be done with this, or if you're like me and you like them really bright, you could duplicate the layer and it'll make them a lot brighter. Um, and then button. And this image could be done. Um, I'm going to undo flatten for a second though because I want to show you something. If you are wanting to, if you accidentally get some on your subject, let's put some on here for a second. Not that many. <laughs> Um, and you need to brush off. You could brush off on the masks individually, but if you're needing to, if you merge them, they will go back to normal blending mode. So just make sure you go up and you change that back to hard light, and then you can create that layer mask. Use a black brush. You'll have to go to a regular brush um, at 100% opacity, and then just brush it off of your subject. Okay, so that's one way. Um, and then another thing is if you're wanting to change the color, every time you click on one of these have the predetermined color there, it's going to go right back to gold. So just keep that in mind. If you get frustrated and you're like, it's still doing gold, it's because you, you clicked on it again. Once you click on it though and you're ready to use it, you can go into colors and you can change it to whatever you want. If you want bright green, you can do bright green. Um, just try not to brush them on your subjects and you won't have to even create a layer mask. Uh, I do have the silver I have in here. The color was, well, let's go super simple, E, E3, E3, E3. And that is like a silver or a white color you could use and duplicate it to make it stronger if you want. And then you could kind of meet in the middle and decrease the opacity on that. But that's how to use the single one. Okay, so I'm going to play this layer again. And then I'm going to use one of my lines which I have different sizes in here so this would be for an image like this where I think I used my 35 or my 50 for this session I'm not sure um, but I have like big bokeh in oh, I have doors in here too Pretty, like if you had like the barn doors behind here um, I have so I have a few doors and then I have big bokeh um, if you were to use like an 85 and you were pulled in close and you needed to add it it's, I make it so much easier by just putting in bigger lights so you don't have to mess around with the size of the of the um, brush so much. And it looks different. It, it bo Bigger bokeh, it's, it's tough when you just make it bigger. It's not going to look the same. So I have different depth of fields for uh, the twinkle lights in here, both for the single brushes and for um, the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab one of these lines here. And now this is going to be whatever color you have it on, but I'm going to keep it on the gold or if I would need to change it, that, that DCC 299 is on that um, 
if you play as soon as you play your action it'll be in there and then i'm just gonna click and click and i'm gonna duplicate it again because i like my lights a little bit brighter um, and then you can also add a layer here and i'm just gonna change it to hard light because i'm gonna add a couple single bokehs then come down here and it's already on that same color once again now since say you were doing blue lines and you clicked on this and you wanted blue you're gonna have to change it because it's automatically gonna go to that gold color i did that for ease of use because a lot of photographers just use the gold that's like what this the simple um that's what the the lights come in when you buy them so i figured that was going to be the most popular um and then i could just paint in i could do some lines down on my garland create like a line down like a wire so it looks realistic and then duplicate that layer to match and then it's done like i said you can can lower the opacity a little bit if you want them to if they need to be a little bit blurred but you don't want to go up in bokeh size just go up to filter blur gaussian blur and there you go added blur you can add as much as you you want to that um so i'm just going to go ahead and flatten that and that's it they're super simple to use and the lines i created already have like this kind of glare too so it makes it a lot more realistic that way to be a photographer. I would love for you to join my group. I will link it in the description.